What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, share it. When you share, the universe certainly shares back with you there. All right, so today, today is not another uh, another story over here. It's not really a, a laughing matter over here. NFL star John Watson facing three lawsuits for alleged sexual assaults. Uh, something that actually happened in one of the uh, massage pol- parlors. And uh, I guess he uh, wanted a Korean massage. I don't know. That's what... Uh, <laughs> no, no, listen, man, we, we can't judge where it came from. Because right now, they have in there, we, have, we don't know who the people are. We just know that they are, are the people who can, uh, are basically labeled as the complaining. Uh, you know, the uh, complaining. You call it this, is a, um, this is actually a civil, civil lawsuit right here, man. And mm-hmm. um, I don't know, man. It, 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 you know, listen, I'm not trying to cast any excursions on anyone, but you really think that a, a, a guy as popular as Deshaun Watson mm-hmm. women throwing themselves at him needs to force someone to actually you know perform um, sexual acts and nobody on uh, nobody on ESPN wants to actually say this uh, but but damn it I'm gonna say it right here right now man because uh, if this um, the Me Too movement doesn't really stop in a sense, though. Um, because we you know we actually see it, like, like, let's say if somebody jumps off the Empire State Building, right? Um, they have to put cops there the next day, they uh, they got to put cops there the next day to make sure that there's not copycats of other people trying to do it now, you know. So, we see this actually a lot in society right here, man, you know, and um. And again, if this is such a traumatic uh, incident, you know, you definitely want to um, have some type of, uh, you know, cr- you know, criminal charges filed against them, and not just a a, a civil suit. Uh huh. Well, let me tell you something, my brother. My brother. Basically, all that concept being said, that's fine. You know, I have no dis- I have no uh, no disagreement with that. But you know. Here's where my problem lies, bro. and everyone knows how passionate I am again with the game of football, and how I am passionate about how the game is is basically being introduced moving forward. Oh yeah, by the way, congratulations to the NFL for signing their new contract deal, their new TV contract to 2033. So you know they basically are making sure that their brand is going to be out there full throttle. Now, with that being said, now you know. The Houston Texans. And this goes deeper, brother. And let me make sure that I take us deeper. As everyone knows, Deshaun Jackson wants out of Houston. He wants out of Houston because of certain personnel decisions that were made. D Hop, DeAndre Hopkins was one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. That's a that's the position player which Deshaun Watson throws the ball to. He was traded to Arizona for a player who is rarely healthy. Then they don't involve him in any personnel decisions with the new head coach or new GM. And then J.J. Watt leads free a free agency to this very same team, Arizona Cardinals, where DeAndre Hopkins is right now. And I, I recall J.J. Watt telling the Deshaun Watson, I'm sorry, I'm apologizing to you for wasting your talent because you are such a dynamic player. You are such a great person. And more importantly, when people talk about the Sean Watson, they talk about the Sean Watson's character. They talk about how much a great teammate he is, how much they, he's well respected in the locker room. That's pretty big in the NFL because you are the guy controlling the football. You're the guy that holds that ball longer than anybody else in the field. You control where that ball goes, and he's been great at that. Off the field, he's been a model citizen in the Houston, especially in the Harris County and most other places in Houston. All right? Charitable all right, so one, 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 all that. one allegation comes uh, in uh, uh, August of 2020. Um, saying, I, I, you know, this is probably, this is a family show over here. I don't want to even uh, read into this pretty much here. Um, but... Again, this is such a traumatic experience for for uh, for anybody. You know, you call the cops and you want this guy put in prison over here. And um, I don't know how far this actually would go. I mean, it's uh, you know, he said, she said type of thing. Uh, how that actually will 
fair in um, and uh, a jury trial, not a you know just a regular civil a civil trial. It's it's civil is a civil suit, so it'll be a civil, civil trial. Suit. Yeah. I have no idea. It just depends on how convincing uh, uh, the women can actually be, but um, there's no you know video evidence of this and. Um, what you, what you think, though, Barrick? I mean, do you, you actually agree with me? You know, should, should this be a criminal complaint? If this is like, uh, you know, forcible, forcible sexual assault? We don't know. I mean, I, if it comes down to that, yeah, Rashid, definitely. But we don't know. See, this is where I was leading to. These, these concepts are what they are. When one person comes out and makes a complaint, all right, well, we'll take it with a grain of salt. But then you have two and three Rashid now there's six allegations against Deshaun Watson for the very same particular thing six allegations when you go after the when this happens and the NFL shield remember we did other shows in the past with Colin Kaepernick how many times I mentioned the NFL shield once that shield is being threatened and is being tarnished the NFL will unload on this player so yes what you said has merit but it's going to be three different entities investigating this the houston texans the nfl and obviously you know the law has to do their due diligence as well but six allegations brother this is a problem uh i, I mean like i said he's a uh, um he's a. Uh... He's a major celebrity, man. I just don't see him having to do that. I mean, there's women that's willing to just do it just for, you know, for nothing in a sense, you know, because it is Deshaun Watson. Um, yeah, but you notice actually goes on over here, man. We can't deny this over here, man. Um, no, it can't. It can't be denied. This, this happened way too much, bro. This happened. See, my here's my thing. This is another problem I got. If this was such a problem for you, because I got a statement from at least one plaintiff stating that he had asked her okay first the, the, it was watson had con he had could coerced a licensed masseuse okay to perform a sexual act that was back in december that's the third suit the third suit that came out all right that was the only one then the, the fourth suit that came out said oh yeah well i had to massage him in his inner glutes Okay, I had to massage him in his inner Oh, group. yeah, I mean, isn't that okay. like uh, uh, um, standard operating procedure in a sense? Inner glutes, inner glutes, not okay. inner glutes. Where's uh, okay. your inner glutes at, sir? Okay. okay, okay, so okay, the bottom line is, and then of course, you know, this is coming on the heels, all right, okay, of a trade request. Remember, I told you, Deshaun Watson wants to trade out of Houston, he don't want to play for Texas no more, so even he leaves Houston. These allegations are going to follow him. So he's not leaving, but I want to make sure I'm clear about this on this show. He's not going to be trying to leave Houston because he's trying to avoid this. He knows that this is going to follow him. He wants out of there because the franchise, in his opinion, has mistreated him and showed him no respect. That's fine and dandy, but now these allegations come out and now you look just as bad. And if you come out guilty and it's proven that way, the Texans got to do their due diligence and do what? They have to cut you. Well, the Texans didn't want to trade him. You know, I, I guess they they see a lot of value in him. They didn't want to. Um, they can't get no value in return for him either. They can't yeah. get no equal value for him. Because if they got equal value for him, Richie, they would have done it already. The Houston Texans wanted three first-round picks. And I told you, okay, draft picks are big time. They are oh, gold yeah. mines. In the, in the NFL, NFL. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Okay, in, in NBA, so... It's a you know? yeah. Right. So they wanted three first round picks and one of the other team's best player in return. There's no team out there that can kind of fall suit on that. But this lawsuit now, this civil suit, six allegations, brother, this is coming out hard on him. But why yeah. are these women waiting too long? August of 2020. If this was a problem, why don't you say something back in 2020? And, then, and the, women, the women, the women aren't saying that he used intimidation tactics on them. They just said that uh, this is what he did back in. Uh, and now you use the word co coerce, coerce, coerce. 
That's right. That means God manipulated into it. Of course. Of course. I mean, and all this is all hearsay. These are statements that are being released. But I, like I said, this was the third, third allegation that says she was coerced. All right, to perform sexual acts. That was back in December. And that was the day after he played the Cincinnati Bengals in Houston. That was the day after he played a football game. And that was the third person that came out. There's three more that came out later on today. And like I said, there's going to probably be more information beyond today. But this yeah. is crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, we'll definitely, we're definitely going to have to uh, follow up on this. And uh, we'll definitely see um, <laughs> what comes out of this and whether it be any type of um, uh, criminal charges actually filed here. Um, mm -hmm. My guess is no, because of the the, the timestamp, and and, 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 the, and the thing too. I want to, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I want to make sure there's not something else that's going to be put on this show. That you know, the, the plaintiff lawyer has offered offered a six figure settlement to Watson. Watson declined. Yeah, Watson declined it because he yeah, wants because to I'll, I'll, I'll be other women can come out and say hey he did this to me and he just have to keep settling and settling and selling so right. yeah, well, it makes you look guilty. that type of precedent yeah right so that, that makes you look guilty but you he's know. not taking now, we, that we know listen we know uh uh big companies big corporations sometimes even though they're not guilty they rather just actually pay a settlement out and it's cheaper for them to actually do that rather than go through a long drawn out trial you know so let's definitely be mindful of that in a sense though mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, companies do do this a lot even though they're actually not guilty you know yeah but this is the nfl we're talking about nfl does not want this to drag out i hear yeah, what no, you're no, saying no, 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 but just the saying, nfl is a powerful lead right, no, i just want to let people know just in case just in case just in case he does a settlement you know, because a, a trial could be very lengthy and costly in a sense, though. You know, you know how these lawyers, they, the lawyers charge you for everything. Emails, uh, mm -hmm. they for texts, uh, mm -hmm. um, everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So a, a trial can actually really drag out. They could, and, yeah. Um, they could. It be very costly for uh, the person that's actually uh, being accused of, in a sense, mm -hmm. though. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, right. that's, that's understandable. We're, but we're going to definitely follow up with this and we'll see what actually happens with this. And uh, who knows? We might even bring Kenneth on, man. And, and and the Revelator and see, especially the Revelator, because I know how he actually, we should have had him on this show uh, uh, for this, because I know how he actually feels about this, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. We can, we can look into that. All, All right, right, so well, this is the way it is. Uh, we'll keep. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, Erica, man, you want you want to go with the outro, baby? I'm gonna take it. I'm mm -hmm. I'm always doing the outro. Uh, take it. Oh. Soul, take it <laughs> well, I have my own outro, but like I said, my outro is pretty basic, man. I just want to thank everybody for for viewing us and giving us an opportunity and leaving the comments and also smash that like button, smash it hard, guys. You know. Um, so when you share, the universe shares back. <laughs> That's right, and let, the, let those like buttons, you know, definitely right. uh, uh, spread amongst the world. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Okay. All right, guys. Peace.